Good morning, guys. So it's been a little while since I did a live, so I thought I would swing by and do a little Monday, maybe Monday non-motivation live. <coughs> so to be honest, I've been a little bit slack with my lives lately. Um, part of me was blaming that I've not had a haircut in ages and, you know, just kind of giving myself some BS excuses and letting myself off. I've not been on in the um, on my Facebook profile as much doing a live because I do a lot more in my my private group, the Lean Project. But I've also been a little bit slack with that over the last couple of weeks. So I'm here today to call myself out a little bit on my BS and also to talk about why motivation is. Yes. So we had a uh, virtual office day with the coaches I work with and some of the guys I work with who are online fitness professionals. And our coach has challenged us to go, if possible, five times this week. So here I am. I'm a person that likes a challenge. So I am here and I'm committing to it. So you're going to see me for the next four days aren't you lucky and i know what you're thinking yeah the hair is bad isn't it right i need a haircut but you know lockdown life so let's get into why i'm here i'm here today because i want to talk about why relying on motivation is bs basically and why it just doesn't work so i get this often people come into my group and they're either saying i'm lacking motivation or i have a call with people and i say i'm lacking motivation or i just need a, i just need motivation now the problem with relying solely on motivation motivation comes and goes like the wind you may wake up one morning and feel super motivated you may wake up the next morning and feel like your motivation is completely gone and there can kind of be no rhyme or reason behind it. One day you just wake up motivated, another day you don't. So if you're really always being motivated, it's just not going to be enough and it's not going to work. I'd admit last week I didn't feel particularly motivated. I had one of those weeks where I started the week good. And as the week went on, just lost a little bit of motivation. And by the end of the week, I was kind of beating myself up, saying I should have done that. And it was just into a little bit of a negative head, which, you know, it's OK. It's understandable. It's lockdown, our outlets have taken away from us and maybe stress does affect us a little bit more. But I thought about some of the things I do to keep myself um keep myself going to keep myself doing the things that I want to do business wise health and fitness wise and I looked over the week and I just wasn't doing them so it wasn't a lack of motivation it was actually lacking discipline discipline to work out discipline to eat healthy foods discipline to show up in my group like I want to with live discipline to put out content I like to serve my I like to put out good content discipline to reach out to potential and discipline to just show up as much as I want to. So it wasn't a, a lack of motivation. Last week, I just lacked discipline. So there's a big difference between motivation and discipline. You're not always going to be motivated. It's just not going to happen. Even the greatest um, coaches in the world, probably people like Tony Robbins, always, he's not always motivated. Professional athletes aren't always motivated. What they are, they are disciplined. There's a reason the, the greatest footballers, the greatest athletes get to the top of their game. And it's not because they're motivated. They're just disciplined to do the things that are uncomfortable on a regular basis because it's going to keep pushing them forwards. So it's very important that you're not just relying on discipline. Because discipline and motivation are bad. 
motivation because it's not going to get you to where you want to get to. So I think it's much better to have discipline in your behaviours and your actions. So, for example, I'm obviously a behaviour change transformation coach, and I'm going to talk about discipline and with relation to health and fitness. So to get to where you want to get to in your health and fitness, if you rely on motivation, it's not necessarily going to get you to where you want to get to. So what are the areas where you can be disciplined? around your food discipline to say when you've decided to work out you will work out discipline to count calories if that's what you do discipline to back space and go for a walk discipline to say no to the to the glass of the evening all these things require discipline instead of motivation so if you want to improve your your situation then what are the areas where you can be disciplined now is it can show up in other areas what do i mean it can show up in other areas of life if you're relying on motivation all the time and say you've got a workout you've planned your workout home you're going to work out three times this week first week first awesome you get it done you've got that workout planned in you've got it scheduled you decide not to do it because the motivation's not where else does that show up in life where else is that showing up where you say you're going to do something but then you don't do it really starting to think about what effect does that have where you will not commit something because that can be a really negative path to go, right? If you say you do something and then you don't do it, that headspace after of, I said I was going to do something, I haven't done it, committed, what does that then lead to? Maybe beating yourself up because it's another day you said you were going to do something and you haven't. And it can lead to other areas. There's a sort of like a little bit of like a ripple effect that continues to happen afterwards up saying I, I i knew i wasn't going to do it you know maybe feeling like you're not you're not good enough so that can have a effect going on forwards whereas if you're disciplined and you say to yourself no i have to work out even in those times motivation is low because we can't rely on motivation those times when you do train when you don't want to those are the areas which make the biggest difference I would even say professional athletes, probably nine times out of ten, if you said to them, you could get in the shape you want to get into, get all the benefits of the exercise, look good, feel good, without doing the training, probably. So it's so important to do your workouts and eat the food. Those moments when motivation is to having discipline to, to follow it because that's going to make the difference in your health and fitness going forwards. Now, how do you just small steps make big change? So instead of thinking you've got to train five times a week to live off chicken and broccoli, it's not going to be sustainable and you're going to hate it. Just say to yourself, what can I do this that's just going to push the lever just that little bit forwards? Maybe it's one half workouts this week. Maybe it's uh, drink two liters of water. So all quite small steps forwards. But then what can happen is once they sort of like you start to see these little changes happen week day by day week by week. Then guess what happens? That fact that word that we talk about motivation actually. Because you start to feel a little bit fitter, start to feel a bit healthier, maybe start to feel a little bit stronger, a little bit calmer. minds can start making decisions better. All these things sort of compound on top of each other. And then you kind of don't necessarily have to run motivation all the time. Because you actually start wanting to do these things. And they all they all start to link. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah. I don't have time or what if I don't have time or 
Um, I've tried these things before and they just don't work. And I, I just need motivation. Just have a little think about, is it really motivation that you need? And then just start some of these things in place. Start drinking the water, start getting up from your desk and, and walking about for one or two healthy meals. Start implementing these little changes that can really start to move the words. And then you should rely on motivation all the time because that's not going to last for as long. And then we, you can start to really move forward with your health and fitness. Now, what I would suggest you work on is probably just have a little, little think about motivation for you or is it a little bit discipline with your action. So I would work on just thinking about that and then going out and taking action. Like anything, you know, you could read the book in the world and you could read all these books. You can have all that information, all that knowledge if it's just inside your head and you're not doing anything with the, the it's almost useless. You have to put that information into action. So the information hopefully I've given you today, go out and action it. All right, cheers guys, speak soon.